Imagine working for a business co-owned by you and your colleagues. A place you're treated with respect by a manager you collectively hire and supervise. A place where your input and ideas are sought on issues at work. Imagine working for a company where your elected co-workers sit on the board of directors, rather than strangers who make a profit off your work. Imagine a job where you and your co-workers decide what to do with company profits, and a large portion is set aside to create more jobs for other people. Now imagine the likelihood of finding this kind of job with a disability or learning disorder, or if you've recently been released from prison or recovered from a drug or alcohol addiction. Sound impossible? In the work world, it often is, but in the community of Forli in North Central Italy, the impossible is a reality. Ecosfera, a cooperative that provides environmental services, is one business there that makes this reality possible. For the last year, I've been traveling there to work with them to better understand how they do it and how their cooperative system functions. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> of Ecosphere are perhaps the most interesting. Many of the employees and members of the co-op struggle with some form of disability, might otherwise have a difficult time finding work, or be excluded from the community in one way or another. As a social cooperative, the core mission of Ecosfera is to provide meaningful ways to engage its disabled staff as productive members of the community. In Italy, this is known as a Type B cooperative, a social co-op that exists for the general benefit of the community and the integration of its citizens. To achieve this, permanent workers are brought together as members with previously unemployed people of disadvantage who wish to integrate into the workforce. In Type B co-ops, at least 30% of members must be from this target group. Individuals with a physical or mental disability, prior drug and alcohol addiction, developmental disorders, and even problems with the law. How does this work? At Ecosfera, any employee, disadvantaged or not, can become a member or socio after working for one year on approval from the other members. They must then buy into the co-op with a modest investment they can choose to pay over a period of time. Once someone becomes a member, they are allowed to vote and participate in meetings of the General Assembly. They are also eligible to serve on the board of directors, which is entrusted to make operational decisions about the business, and to hire and oversee an outside manager to direct day-to-day -day work. Profits of the co-op are reinvested back into the business into a reserve fund for hard times, or to allow the business to grow and develop in good times and employ more people. Individual members receive 3% of profits as an added bonus, with another 3% allocated to a co-op development fund run by one of several confederations of cooperatives in Italy. If the business should ever go under, the sale of the assets must be donated to a charitable cause. While supplying essential services and healthy organic products to citizens and consumers, Ecosfera simultaneously provides a vehicle for empowering, nourishing, and sustaining people as they work together for the benefit of all. For 20 years now, Ecosfera has been putting this model to work, 
contributing to the greater good of the community by enabling those who have been dealt great challenges in life to assert their skill, self-reliance, and productive power, and by utilizing people's full potential. Imagine a world where everyone followed their example. Thank you.